What's up guys, you here with Josh Bailey. Welcome to my channel, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Today, we're gonna keep it simple, and we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna make three simple snacks that you can eat at any time. Or what I say, I eat at any time, but if you guys are, getting, are looking to get a better physique, uh, you work out, you train, you want a little bit of recovery, I'm gonna show you what I do for my three snacks. I'm really not a snack person, but when I do snack, this is what I eat. Alright guys, so this is my first snack and I would call this either my late snack or some type of meal replacement if I don't have food right away. We're gonna start with the rice cakes. Alright, you guys know I'm going with this. I got rice cakes, I got banana, and I got peanut butter. It takes the place of uh, peanut butter and banana sandwich, but I also eat that too. But today we're going rice cakes and one tip I want you to know, when you're buying rice cakes, you want one or two ingredients in it, alright? If you check this out, you got whole grain, brown rice, and salt. If you're getting rice cakes and it has like three, four ingredients, it's not really organic and it's a lot more processed stuff in it. So you want the basic and most simple rice cake you can find. Banana, can't go wrong, medium. You don't eat the whole thing, but we're gonna eat at least three rice cakes. Now, big thing, when it comes down to your peanut butters, almond butters, this is, what, this is a deal breaker, okay? This is what makes even though both of these are like, you know, fats, this is what makes the difference between you learning what you put in your body. Everybody gets this one because it's the best tasting. All right, I'm gonna use almond butter. If you look at these two, look how many ingredients this has. All right, this has, I mean, I don't know, probably over eight to 10. This one has three ingredients. That's what you wanna look for, all right? That's when you, when, when you paying attention to what you put in your body, this is what you wanna go. So today, I'm gonna go with almond butter. Tastes a little bit better. You guys, this is not, this is really not hard to do, but this is something that if you need a snack and you just watching your macros, and you wanna make sure you eat something healthy, this is one of my go-tos. So, I do three rice cakes. Each rice cake is about seven grams of carbs. So basically this snack is all carbs. So if you're looking for Low carbs, this is not bad, but also know you're not getting any protein in this snack right here. So, simple. Scoop, oh. scoop a little bit of almond butter on there. Now I don't put so much, but I do want to actually like cover the rice cake. This is also not bad for, you know, whether you're trying to put on muscle, lose weight, you can always eat this stuff. It's all about balance and it's all about your portion size. So if I do happen to run out of this almond butter, we'll go with peanut butter, but I think we should be fine. If you also want to add honey, you can. Just understand that's a little bit more carbs as well. But some people like to add some honey to it, just a little bit won't hurt you. So we cover these up pretty good. Simple, that's two. I think we're gonna use all my almond butter. Guys, when you think about almond butter though, compared to peanut butter, you're looking at more omega-3 fats. So almond butter, cashew butter, those are definitely like a little bit more expensive, but definitely better for your body. I think um, the first time I had like a almond butter and strawberry, jelly sandwich, I, I just fell in love. It was like, it was like one of the best things I ever tasted. And I still, I'm still a peanut butter lover, but almond butter hits a little bit different. So, simple. That's it right there. I'm gonna move these two out the way. I do have the Jif because the Jif tastes good. I ain't gonna lie, I eat it sometimes, but most of the time I don't. So, thin little slices. Don't forget, you can put some honey on here, you can put some granola on here. Depending on what your goals are. I typically just do this right here. I need to put two on top. All right, simple as that. I'm gonna fill the rest of these up. All right, so my next snack is dedicated to more of a protein source. Now, for me, I eat carbs throughout the day. It's easy to get carbs, but when we're talking protein, I want my protein because that's much harder to get. So I'm either going between MRE light and isotope. Now, what's your goal? If you go isotope, it's, this is more of a 
right after your workout. All right, you want to isolate, you want this to get right into your bloodstream and recover fast. Now, if you're going MRE light, you need a little bit more carb. You need something to hold you, which can get you maybe, you can take it before your workout or you can have it after. Something to hold you over until you get some food. Then we go MRE light. Now, my favorite, whoo, I'm gonna go with MRE light. All right, let's get to the shake. So, blender of course or you don't have to use a blender. If I was to go more protein, okay? If I'm thinking I don't want no carbs, I just want protein, which I do sometimes, I'm gonna go with this isotope and my PB2. PB Fit, PB2 guys, this is powdered peanut butter. Has much less car uh, carbs and fats than your regular. So either I go with these two and I just put it in a shaker cup, okay? So now we're talking just protein, nothing else really. But if I want to eat something after, if I want a meal replacement or something like that, ah, oh, it smells so good. This waffle, waffle syrup flavor. I'm gonna show you what I do, all right? I have unsweetened vanilla almond milk. All right, anytime you want to go almond milk or something like that, you definitely want to take the sugars out. All right, sugars add up. So I do this in many different ways. I don't always do it the same. I'm just giving you guys a combination of what I actually do. So if we go in a straight protein, it's a little bit of carbs, always get two scoops of it in. This has 24 grams per serving, which is in one scoop, so I get two. So we're looking at 48 grams of protein, which is much needed. Now, for your powder, okay, you got, you follow this, you go in two tablespoons, which is simple. If you're a peanut butter lover, you can go two or three. To be honest, I actually always go about three, but you can do what it says. If you look in the track, do what it says here, and this can be it. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I always throw some in mine. I need a little bit more flavor. I put about half a banana in mine. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys today. I'm gonna do exactly what I would do. Just depends on the day. So, half a banana. A little bit of ice. So this one here is more of a, you can say like a meal replacement shake. And if I was just doing it normally, I would just do uh, these two, well, these three. All right, we're going snack, high protein, okay? Now we're going meal replacement, snack, so we have these, oh, we keep looking at these. We have these right here, all right? Different, all right, so there you got four. All right, I told you three, but you're getting four. So we put a little ice blended up. Ah. It's blended. I don't know if you guys want to stick around for this noise, but quick blend. Right. All right. It's number two. It's good every time. And let you guys know, I do drink all of it. All right, this is a serving maybe, but I drink the whole shake. Sometimes it's a cup and a half. I, I drink all of it. All right. So. That's out the way. Number three, I got a special one for you guys. I'm actually gonna show you a recipe because most of the time you see these two are like really easy to make. This next one, you have to kind of prepare. So you're gonna take some time. This is something that you think about on any day. You'd be like, man, I just want something different. I don't want to eat it out. I'm just gonna buy it. So let me show you what I'm gonna make next. What you're gonna need, MRE Light, Raspberry Swirl, Cheesecake Flavor by Redcon One. All of these are from Redcon One, by the way. I'll put a link below if you guys wanna check it out. MRE Light is actually my favorite right now. I also told you can't go wrong with that, but MRE Light is just something about this Junior's, it's, it's, it's different, it's different. So, you got that, you're gonna need some dark chocolate. Why dark? Because it has less sugars than your regular chocolate. You're gonna need some strawberries. Oh, raspberries, forgive me. We're gonna need raspberries to go with the cheesecake flavor. 
Can you guys guess what we're gonna make? You're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this. You're gonna like this. This is gonna be, what else do we need? I think I use a little bit of milk. And we're gonna get this thing started. So we're gonna get a bowl to start. Actually, you're gonna need a, we're gonna parade these. All right, so we're gonna need one of these. Let's get this stuff out the way. All right, so what you're gonna do, if you don't have one of these, oh, this is very useful. All right, very useful when you wanna make any type of fruit, fruit blend, you wanna do potatoes, you wanna make different toppings, you want your food to taste different, you can use this for so many ways, right? We're gonna use this whole thing of raspberries. All right, these organic raspberries. I'm not a big raspberry person, but actually, but with chocolate, it works. One time I was actually living in like Macedonia, right? When I visited Serbia and these raspberries, I've actually, raspberries, I don't believe they're supposed to be sour. They're supposed to be sweet. That was the first time I had raspberries that were sweet when I was overseas. You could smell them as soon as you went in the backyard. So we're gonna add just a little bit. Take that back. It's yogurt, yogurt. This yogurt is, it's Greek yogurt, it's not milk. All right, so guys, this is, the ingredients for this is raspberries, Greek yogurt, got your juniors, and your dark chocolate. If you use milk, you can mess it all up. And I almost messed it up. So, serving size. So one, two, three, let's go more. One more just to, so we have enough liquid in there. Now if you do need milk, you can add it, but it's gonna blend to a liquid. It's gonna like process it to a liquid type of texture. So you don't really need milk. But what you are gonna add is some protein. I think this is a new one too. Yeah, this is a new one. This is actually my favorite flavor. This cheesecake, one of my favorite desserts. Ah, if you order, you can smell it, but I'm telling you, ah, it smells so good. All right, so one scoop is enough. You don't even need one whole scoop. You just need a little bit for taste, but let's go, just use a scoop today. But we still want protein, so this is actually coming from a, pro a protein source when you have Greek yogurt, which is fats, uh, fats and protein, probiotic. Uh, you can go down the line for your Greek yogurt, it's really good for you. You got raspberries, which is a superfood, berry, antioxidant, all type of stuff, we got protein, which is gonna just help it taste better, but also give you more of a protein source. So, you're gonna use your blender. All right, mine came together. We get these snacks right here. All right, they're waiting for us. Right here. Now, for this, you don't wanna just blend it. All right, we're pulsing it. Pulse. See, I can stop it right now if I wanna eat it like this. And I have, you can see the texture. All right, I have a little raspberry you know, uh, bites in there. Oh, smells real good. But I don't actually want to taste them. I'm going for more of like a cream, creamy style. So I'm gonna just pulse it a little bit more, but right now it's almost ready. And that's it. All right, guys, let's see what it's like. Wow, amazing. All right, so what I'm doing is getting my base ready. All you need is a little small baking pan. And what we're gonna do next is just simply pour the raspberry mix here. Now this is about, I'm gonna give you about three to four hours of freezing. And then we're gonna use chocolate, so it's gonna take another hour. So I'm gonna give you a good four to five hour process to actually make this. Now, if you don't have raspberry 
like protein it. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna really go. That's why I'm showing you the one I'm using, but you don't even need stevia for this. You don't need any type of sugar because this one is actually perfect. So imagine, right? What I actually did was I made these before and I used, uh, I, I made them like a little bit thicker. The base was thicker, but this is a, like a thinner bar. So depending on what you want, if you want to double the size of like the, the middle of this, cause it's going to come out like a bar, you can do two servings of this, or you can just stick with like these nice thin bars, which is totally satisfiable and just leave it like this. So this is really good. I can't actually wait to try this again. All right, smooth it out. See, it's pretty thin. Nice texture, nice color. Flavor is amazing. We're gonna make sure it's all leveled out because when it freezes, we're gonna actually make these small bars and we're gonna put chocolate on top. All right, this is how it works. So, right here, I recommend you put something over it. If you don't, you can just do it like this. All right, this goes in the freezer for next three, four hours. You can do it at night, you can do it during the day. Just make sure you don't just over freeze it. All right, now we're getting ready to melt the chocolate. Now you guys, I know you like chocolate, but you gotta go a little bit healthier. Otherwise it's just like a candy bar. And this is not a candy bar. We're going nutrition here. We got 70% cocoa, which is dark chocolate, but dark chocolate is a superfood, if you guys didn't know that. So it's not just your Hershey's candy bar. This is actually beneficial to your nutrients and things that you put in your body, all right? You gotta make sure you're putting the correct stuff in. So, hey, it has, what, nine total grams of sugar? So if we break that down to all of these bars, it's gonna be okay. Put your saucepan on the low temperature heat. All right, now, for video purposes, I'm not gonna make all of it, because I've already made one, so I just wanna show you guys how it's gonna end up and how to make it. So we're gonna melt one of these chocolate bars. You're probably gonna need around I'm gonna say three, okay? Look, I have four of these here. Previously, I used three. So you're gonna need at least three of these if you can find these. I, I bought these in public, so I'm sure you can find it there. So three of those I used. Also depends how much chocolate you want. Might be able to get away with two. Now, with that, I put a little bit of coconut oil in it. Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna have a nice, dry and really thick chocolate. A tablespoon coconut oil and depending how sweet you want your um, dark chocolate to taste you can add a tad bit of syrup or honey I just put a drop in there that's it you can also use stevia all right you guys have stevia where is it have stevia here another good source of just sweetness with you know zero calories if you're going for you know that tight of a macro count Stevia will also work. And just melt it on nice low heat. The thing about the chocolate is you gotta make sure before adding it to the yogurt that it's like it cools a little bit, but it's not too cool because it's gonna just, like you'll see, once you put this on the yogurt, it's just gonna like gel immediately. And what I also do, I put a little bit of uh, kosher salt on mine. So I just sprinkle it. Right? It has like a, just like a sweet, salty, it always go together. Salt and sugar goes together, if you didn't know. So just a little bit of that, because the dark chocolate has more of a salty taste than like sugary. So you can take a look at it here, look at the texture of this. Okay, so I recently made these before, right? This is the end result, and I showed you guys the beginning stages. I put this in the freezer for a few minutes, but for time purposes, I'm not gonna go through all of it, but it's gonna come out as like a solid yogurt, okay? What you guys wanna do from here is get this on a cutting board, all right? Flip it, cut it, slice the cubes. After that, you're gonna get you a fork and a spoon, and you're gonna take one of these yogurts, whatever it is, bars, bite, you're gonna go here. You don't wanna put it on your fingers because it might start melting. And you're gonna flip it over in the chocolate. All right, flip it one, two, Make sure it's covered and then put it on some foil. You can put it right back in the same pan, right? Once you do that, immediately sprinkle some kosher salt, something like that on it and 
that's gonna be it. All right, flip it over, sprinkle some salt on it, put it back in the freezer for about 30 minutes, one hour, and that's it. All right, this is what you're gonna come out with right here. All right, it's always gonna be a frozen snack, healthy, nutritious snack. Mm. All right, this is a double thick one right here. I put two, two layers of yogurt in this one, but man. Mmm. Man, teeth freeze on. Whew. I got this idea after salmon in Sam's Club. Like, let me make these by myself, add an extra source of protein in it, and it's pretty good. Hmm. So guys, this is my three healthy snacks for this video. There's much more snacks we could do, but we're talking stuff that I would eat on a weekly basis, daily basis. This is stuff that I would do. So guys, I hope you like this. Share it with a friend, looking for some new ways to make some healthy snacks. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to make these. See you next time.